welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Adult. Today we'll be showcasing the MiG-29, so let's get a scenario set up here. With our choice of snow or regular, we'll take snow. And we'll fight against our equals and make 29s. And uh, we'll take a custom weapons load. And so we see the default loadout, curiously enough, is all aphids, which is not what I would normally pick. In any case, what we can do is, um... What do we got? I'm assuming there's some lots of two, yeah. So we'll take some Russian cluster bombs. And then, uh... A-10 Elmos, which are Russian Sparrow equivalents, and A-11 Archers, which are Sidewinder equivalents. Late mile Sidewinder clip. But once I should probably specify, and I think we'll go for that. Now we could have probably have taken the adder, but but uh, I want to at least give these guys a chance. So self defense chambers are on. We're closing. We see we're getting a lot of. Much better performance from our Alamos in terms of theoretical hit percentage than we would uh, ever have gotten from our Sparrows. They still aren't actually hitting, but... Alright. Pilot as ejected. So. Well, hello there. And we actually are at the disadvantage in this firefight. We did get a better selection of missiles, but we are weighed down by those cluster bombs. And even though they were on the same par as our pilots, they're already all gone, so... We'll have our women uh, go for the convoy, though. We see the, um... We didn't even need to use our archers. And unlike the SU-7, we have a proper bomb site. Which is nice. I have no idea why the SE7 does it. I mean, normally in this game, you see that if, say, you use the load anything anywhere cheat, and you, um, you know, you you load like ridiculous stuff, like you know, a ton of bombs onto. Geez, I can't even think of a proper example. But. Well, we got a truck. That wasn't as damaging as I thought it would be, but then again, they are pretty spread out. Bombs away! Bombs away! Got him! Oh yeah, our wingmen are doing work there. Bombs away! And we always have our cannon too, so I'm not too worried about this. You know, wingmen can be, and the AI in general can be very fickle in these quick missions as far as attacking what they're actually supposed to be attacking. 
Uh, I think uh, I think we got a good handle on things here. Wow, that is going nowhere near where it said it was going. But either way, mission accomplished. Tell our wingman to disengage, and we can head back for a landing. So wherever the nearest outpost is. Uh, it looks like this one. Right here. So So now we can see what it's like to land these babies. Um, the MiG-29 uses the same uh, lifting body concept as the SU-27 and the F-14 Tomcat, which gives it a lot of lift at lower speeds. In fact, if it's anything like the Tomcat, I believe 40% of its lift would come from the, uh, excuse me, from the lifting body. But as you can see, for a short range, mul lightweight, multi-role fighter, this is definitely on par with the uh, American F-16, F-18, the Saab Gripen. Uh, trying to think of others. That's a curious little wing there. I think that's for helicopters, but... I think we're also landing the wrong way. See how well we do without our ILS at least. And I may be a bit biased, but I think we're doing pretty okay. Ah, uh, okay. We touched down a bit hard, but that was more of a controlled fall than a landing, but uh, that does remind me, since I don't think I ever explained this to anyone. Uh, for those who don't know, the reason aircraft always land tilted back like that, or at least one of the reasons, um, I mean, one of them is so they can generate enough lift, since it's a controlled stall, as I believe I've said before, so, you know, you need more of their thrust from your engines propelling you upwards rather than forwards, but then the other reason is that for the most part, only the rear landing gear on aircraft are reinforced to handle the shock of an aircraft's landing. The front landing gear tend to not be very reinforced, at least not in comparison to rear ones. They're more for, you know, making sure the aircraft is level on the ground. So that's why, typically, if any of the landing gear breaks, it's the nose gear. And if you go in the news, you'll see that it's often the front landing gear that breaks from, you know, people landing to on But we successfully completed this quick mission. We destroyed all the targets, we killed two fighters ourselves and took out two vehicles. One of our wingmen took out two vehicles, and the rest probably took out a handful of vehicles and fighters. So, very successful mission for the Ukrainian Defense Forces there. Fortunately, not enough to, to help keep the Russians from overcoming their homeland, but what can you do? Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then.